The Talkable Brand Video Series. 50 Ways a Brand Becomes Talkable. Today's Way. Talkable is improvisational. Too many companies design their customer service function to treat all customers the exact same. They develop scripts for everything to ensure uniformity. Does this sound familiar? Think about the last time you called your bank for help. The customer service representative probably handled your call from a script. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I am sorry you're experiencing difficulty. Allow me a few moments to assess the situation. Then, hold music starts playing. And then you hear this. Your call is very important to us. We thank you for your patience. Please stay on the line and a customer representative will be with you shortly. Indeed, the representative does come back on the line. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Moore. Your account is now in good standing. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Ho-hum. Boring. Functional, but lacking emotion and empathy. Absolutely no personality. Actors get paid to act from a script. Employees shouldn't be held to working from a script if a business wants to become a more talkable brand. According to a Harris Interactive survey, 55% of consumers recommend a business because of its customer service. Unfortunately, too many companies aren't recommended because of boring customer service. These companies want their employees to stick to the script when talking with customers. However, by sticking to the script, customers get uniform greetings and stock answers to questions, and a brand fails to become talkable. Stop me if you've experienced this before. Flight attendants ask us to pay attention to them while as fast as they possibly can they run through all the required pre-flight safety information. Of course we don't pay attention to them because it's a script we've all heard countless times. In the book Improvise This, How to Think on Your Feet So You Don't Fall Flat on Your Face, the authors make the case for having employees learn it, then burn it. That is, learn the script and then burn it by finding ways to personalize it and add zest to it. Southwest Airlines follows the learn it, then burn it approach when talking with customers. Here's one way they do it with pre-flight safety instructions. Tell me this isn't talkable. Because I just, I've had five flights today and I just cannot do the regular boring announcement again. Otherwise, I'm going to put myself to sleep. So, you guys with me? All right. So, give me a stomp, clap, stomp, clap. Come on, stomp, clap, stomp, clap. Stay on beat there. There you go. Keep that going. This is flight 372 on SWA. The flight attendant's on board serving you today. Teresa in the middle, David in the back. My name is David and I'm here to tell you that Shortly after takeoff, first things first There's soft drinks and coffee to quench your thirst But if you want another kind of drink, then just holler Alcohol and beverages will be $4 If a monster energy drink is your plan That'll be $3 and you get the whole can We won't take your cash, you gotta pay with plastic If you have a coupon, then that's fantastic We know you're ready to get to new places Open up the vents, put away your suitcases Carry on items, go under the seat In front of you, so none of you have things by your feet if you have a seat on a road with the exit, we're going to talk to you, so you might as well expect it. You got to help evacuate in case we need you. If you don't want to, then we're going to reseat you. Before we leave, our advice is put away your electronic devices. Fasten your seatbelt, then put your trays up. Press the button to make the seat back raise up. Sit back, relax, have a good time. It's almost time to go, so I'm done with the rhyme. Thank you for the fact that I wasn't ignored. This is Southwest Airlines. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Cebu Pacific Airlines from the Philippines also practices the learn it, then burn it approach with pre-flight safety instructions. Enjoy this. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the cabin crew who will demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. Each seat is provided with a seatbelt. To fasten, push hands together. Tighten seatbelts by pulling loose end and to unfasten, lift the whole buckle and pull free end to release. In the unlikely event... Does your business trust its employees enough to practice the learn it, then burn it approach? If it does, let your employees loose. 
If your business doesn't trust its employees enough, loosen up. Because one way to become a more talkable brand is to become more improvisational. For more episodes of the Talkable Brand video series, visit the Brand Autopsy blog.